Hey folks, it's Josh, Downey Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Today is going to be different than any vlog we've ever done before. We're going to go get in a plane. And we're gonna learn a little bit about airplanes and we're gonna learn a little bit about flying and we're gonna go fly over the farm. So a guy messaged me probably, I don't know, two weeks ago when the farm was on fire and he said he was flying over and he saw the fire and he saw the smoke and he's like, man, that was cool. Would you like to get in the plane? I said, absolutely. So they're going to stuff me in the back of the plane today. We're going to walk around and learn a little bit about a pre-flight checklist and everything that goes on before a plane gets to fly. Just have a little bit of fun, a little bit of education, and I might get sick in the back. I did not tell him that I am prone to motion sickness. So I have some Dramamine and I may get sick in the back. So that'll be an extra special treat. You get to watch me suffer. <laughs> let's hope I do good. I'll probably do okay, but uh, we'll see. So let's go have some fun, all right? Woo! Clear prop. So guys, we're here at Piedmont Flight School here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This is Smith Reynolds Airport. It's a small airport, and I'll give you a little background history on Winston-Salem. If you think about it, Winston, Salem, those are cigarette brands. This is the headquarters of RJ Reynolds Tobacco. So basically the entire economy here where I live was based upon the tobacco industry and still is to a certain extent. So RJ Reynolds Tobacco, Smith Reynolds Airport. That's where we are. So a lot of tobacco companies are nearby. So Lure Lard Tobacco is in Greensboro, North Carolina, which is about a half hour east of here. And they make the Marlboro brand and the Newport brand, I do believe. Here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, they make the Winstons and the Salems and other kinds of cigarettes that I don't really know about. But there's your cigarettology lesson for the day. Let's get in the airplane. So it's gonna be really interesting and I'm also starving to death. I didn't eat because last time I went for a flight like this, I sat in the back seat and I ate a big old hot dog right before and not pretty. <laughs> so folks, before we get started with this vlog, I wanna let you know we've got new shirts that came out. I kinda listened to what you guys wanted as subscribers and you said, hey man, how about a shirt with an emblem on the front and an emblem on the back? So let me turn around and see if I can get you a good shot right here. So that's the new Stony Ridge Farm shirt. It has a goat on it and says Stony Ridge Farmer. So if you guys want to pick one up, there'll be a link down in the description. You can still get the old style shirts too. Hopefully we'll be coming up with new styles probably every month or every quarter or something like that. We'll have new shirts. That way if you want a nice fitting t-shirt, you can help support Stony Ridge Farmer. Cool. So guys, here we are. This is a Cessna 172 and we're getting ready to do our pre-flight checklist. So we're going to go around the airplane here and check everything out and hopefully it's not too loud. We've got a couple planes out here warming up right now. There's one there. And there's one over here. We're gonna to talk to the young man that's gonna be flying us around. It's pretty cool. Something I think everybody should know is what a pilot has to go through with his airplane prior to takeoff, prior to using that airplane. Some people think you just hop in like you hop in a car and take off, but it's really complicated. So the first part of the pre-flight checklist is checking the lights to make sure that the lights work. And he'll go around and make sure that the lights are working. Here is one of the lights on the end of the wing. And the left side light is red and the right side light is green. Then there's a few more things that we look at. We'll walk around the entire airplane and talk about what's going on here, what these little sensors are and stuff like this. I think this is the airspeed sensor right here. Pretty interesting. Now we're checking the fuel right here. And there's a little tab that he pushes up in there and checks his fuel to make sure it doesn't have any water. So you mash that in, a little bit of fuel comes out. Okay, and you see how it's kind of blue? That's 100 octane low lead fuel so now we go around the plane we're just gonna make sure everything's good there's nothing uh, nothing visually unacceptable uh, and then we go back here to the tail end of the plane so we're just gonna make sure that the, all this is connected here one two three two and then three there's some uh, this is connected the rudders connected to the uh, to the pedals up there with the pulley system so you gotta make sure it's all connected you know you wouldn't want to take off without your rudder this is a trim tab they call it the poor man's autopilot and there's a wheel inside the cockpit and you just spin that if you feel yourself having to pull up or back or on the yoke a lot um, you know you'll just spin that trim tab and this little 
piece will move and uh, make it to where you can just sit back and enjoy the flight. Now we don't want to distract him too much on this pre-flight checklist so we gotta gotta kind of step back a little bit and make sure he's doing all right. Now there's another fuel tank in this wing and he just tested that fuel. This here is the flaps. This helps you descend uh, without gaining too much speed or any speed really and you just want to make sure that everything's greased up. These uh, connectors are connected and uh, everything's you know set to to go for you. These are the ailerons help you turn the plane uh, and there's some you know lug nuts and stuff you just want to make sure everything's connected and everything's nothing's falling apart here. Come around make sure there's no holes or anything messing off the plane here. Gotcha. And then uh, when we get up here we're gonna jump. Jump up here. Alright so we're gonna jump up on the plane. Yeah. There we go. Woo we're just gonna make sure that we got fuel tank fuel here visually inspect it sometimes it can be a little finicky to get open so not only do you need to check and see that you have fuel in the fuel gauge you also need to make sure you have fuel in the tank by looking inside visually inspection that's the that's the best way to know that you're not gonna die when i got off the plane the plane went uh, i'm a little bit bigger than these boys mm -hmm. checking the fuel again down there and then we got to check the oil here. Okay, cool. A little dent right there. Hmm. Hope that makes us okay. You said a, maybe a bird hit right there? You have to get their body man on that. So you guys might think I'm a little bit crazy going out with an instructor and a student for this flight school thing, but it's gonna be pretty cool. This is Piedmont Flight Instructor School, and I'll post a link down below to their website and their phone number. If you guys wanna go for a flight, it's only $90 to do your first flight. So it's pretty interesting. If you were ever interested in flying, what a great gift to give someone. So Christmas presents, stuff like that. 90 bucks for your first flight. I forget what it's called, an introductory flight or something like that, but I'll post links down below. Pretty cool setup. I did this probably two and a half, three years ago, something like that. Really had a good time, and you actually get to fly the plane a little bit. All right, here we are, guys, getting in the back of this plane. Oh, Lord. Got a band that can yourself. Yeah, I feel like I'm back in high school. I got my seat laid back. We had to talk a little bit about weight and height prior to uh, me getting into this thing. It's a... Uh, it's a bit tight so i'm gonna get all buckled in here guys and throw my headset on and you may hear me yelling at the camera for a little bit we're gonna take off it's gonna be awesome do we say contact you just say clear prop real loud just okay. say once he looks around nobody's around just say clear prop real loud clear prop all right he's putting his phone up there's no texting while flying not while the instructor's here. <laughs> we're going to fly over the farm here. We're going to get some good footage of the farm. I think you'll really like it. It's just fun. So we're just having a good time. And it's hot. And I'm chubby. So guys, we had to shut the plane down for a bit because we can't get the radio to work just right very very important we have a dr dre cd that we want to listen to and we can't listen to it <laughs> guys so we're de deboarding the plane here ah we had to get off the plane there's a problem with the radio so we got to get it taken care of so i pre-medicated with dramamine and i'm just sitting in the back of the plane like oh and i didn't eat breakfast so if i do barf it's only going to be coffee i'm sorry we're in favor park in southeast that's what i'm doing Okay, you still must be behind. Runway 33, taxi out. Let's try this again. Back in, back in. All right, guys, we're going to try this again. Take two. <laughs> I hope we don't have two takes on the flight. You can land in my field. It's okay. <laughs> I'll give you, you got clearance. Clear prop.
this is our farm. This is our big field. This is our 25 acre big field. To the left you see the land that we're going to clear in the fall. That's that big field again. You can see the big trees that we left in the pond. And directly above it is our driveway to the right center of your screen. And then there's a field that runs up the hill there. And you can see to the right it looks like a war zone basically. Not so green. And that's an area of trees that we cut and we're going to clear that out to pasture. And that's another shot of that area we're going to clear to pasture. So our home is basically in the center of the farm there. And I thought it'd be cool to get you a good shot of what it's really like to approach a runway uh, looking out in front of the plane. I thought that'd be pretty interesting to see. And then we landed. We landed pretty hard right here. I had no idea that we're going to be taking off and landing quite a few times. So folks, what we've done is landed at my local airport, which is about four miles from the house. We got some good aerial shots of the house. You can see Mrs. Sterney Ridge down there. That was kind of cool. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to come to a dead stop and we're going to take back off and fly back to the other airport. Awesome. So guys, what I didn't know is that we'd be taking off and landing like two or three times and that was a little rough on my tummy right there. So. This is a neat shot out the back of the plane as we leave the runway. These are all things that you never really get to see if you're flying a commercial airplane, so I thought it was really neat to see out the back of the aircraft like this. And to see the instruments and what really goes on, that's a, another little bumpy landing. Whew, I'm in the back of that plane, I'm like, ugh. I didn't know we were going to do like three and four landings. <laughs> the tummy is just a turning, man. Good stuff. So we're going to get a shot of these guys taking off or, yeah, taking off and landing. It's going to be pretty cool. So I don't know if you guys can sense it on the camera, but when we landed, we hit and we kind of hit hard. It's interesting to see the learning process here. Um, we're getting ready to taxi out here and get a good shot of him taking off. It's going to be pretty neat. And then we'll get back in the plane and shoot back up in the air. By the way, this Portage on smells great. <laughs> So folks, I hope you can really appreciate this. I thought I'd take you somewhere different, somewhere you may have never been before. So we got to see what the pre-flight checklist is like, what it's like to have troubles. We had some troubles with the radio, what it's like to land, what it's like to take off, and what it feels like to actually sit in the back of one of these little private planes. So he's circling around right now. He's going to land again. We'll get a good shot of him landing so he can see what he looks like actually coming in for a landing. It's a little different landing in one of these prop jobs than it is landing in a commercial jet. So it's a little bit like, whoa. But it's fun guys. So let's get a shot of him landing. We'll hop back in the plane and we'll go back to the airport. It's probably a, I'm gonna say a 45 minute drive and maybe a eight minute flight from here. Nice. Now the guy that we're flying with is probably two weeks out from getting his pilot's license. So he's got a lot of experience. It's pretty neat. He's coming in for his approach. Let's check him out. ready to take off again and we're gonna fly over the farm one last time sure is beautiful passing over the farm beautiful day the wind was so calm here we're gonna fly over our local power plant now this is a coal burning power plant and I thought it was neat to show you the coal look at the amount of coal that goes into this plant and those are cooling towers that's not smoke that's steam coming out of the cooling towers and here's another shot. That city you see in the distance is Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Here we are on our final approach, getting ready to land. Just a neat shot. Uh, you just don't get this kind of stuff in a commercial airline. So if you get a chance to fly in a private plane, guys, take it. It's really fun. Good time. There we are. Awesome. We're alive. <laughs> Good thumbs up. Woo! <laughs> Good time.
Well guys, we're all done with the flight. It was really fun, really awesome that a subscriber would contact me and say, hey, let's go for a flight. So if you guys have any ideas of any other stuff, any other fun stuff you'd like to see on Stony Ridge Farm Channel, this has absolutely nothing to do with farming, but he thought it'd be a cool idea for me to fly over and see what the farm looked like from the air. Too bad we didn't have any fire. So Richard, thank you so much. Good luck getting your flight license. I guess how many more hours do you have? Well, technically, I don't have to have any more hours. It's just checking off the boxes on like night flight and cross countries, you know, that that end of things. So okay. hours, I'm good. Gotcha. I just need to get some more experience. Cool. So we helped him out with his experience, putting that chubby guy in the back. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for coming along on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel today. We thought we'd take you somewhere different. You just never know what you might see. So we'll see you next time on Stony Ridge Farming. All right. Woo! We'll come on down <laughs> to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife, bring your kids. We're living life. Pure and sweet, that's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge.